Alright, good morning ladies and gentlemen and we welcome you again to Business Development Program at Career Development Institute. Today we'll be looking at Fundamentals of Business Expansion Lecture 1. Learning Outcomes at the completion or at the end of this module, trainees are expected to be able to grow a business from scratch, understand the elements and mechanisms involved in growing a set a startup, mastering winning strategies in ensuring the survivability and sustainability of a business. Lesson outcome. The focus of this lesson will be on the following. An introduction to the fundamentals of business expansion, the four key factors that will keep the business running, which are corporate fa focus, customer alignment, pricing for value and speed of execution. We begin with an introduction. Lower income growth has reduced consumer purchase purchasing power and slowed their spending and taken together with <clears throat> uncertain government policies these macro factors are exerting downward pressure on asset return amidst increasing labor costs and slowing productivity as a result corporations corporations will find it increasingly difficult to achieve the financial return expected by investors. The result is an economy that lacks mean momentum in which companies must determine how to generate revenue growth in an environment where nothing is moving. They capture growth in such a market you must transform your company into a high performance com economic machine that's adapted to these sluggish economic times revenue growth more than any other metric is the fundamental driver for long-term corporate performance agenda there are four key factors that will keep your business moving towards growth. We have corporate focus, customers, consumer, customer alignment, pricing for value and speed of execution. Let's look at corporate focus. The further a business departs from its core base of cons customers and product, the harder it is to achieve profitable growth. The ability to sharply focus on the core competencies of a business creates a firm connection between the organization and the cons customers that it serves. The net result a business center centered on what it does best and one that has the freedom to excel in doing what matters most. Sustainable, profitable growth is intentional. It is an easy to understand strategy with clear focus that creates greater competitive advantage, market difference, differentiation, and operating efficiencies. Conditions might put you sideways at times, but guided by strategic purpose, you can adapt your operations for each twisting curve of the race customer alignment aligning products with market in a systematic way enables business to reach more customers and to choose the right mix of channels to profitably grow this customer relationship critical to this process is a comprehensive evaluation of the buying behavior and the demographics within the customer portfolio. High performing companies that have realized sustained growth are adept, are adept at understanding inflections, 
and customer demand. They recognize the importance of systematically conducting market scans to identify emerging, emerging buying preferences and potential new product applica applications. They understand not only what and how their customers buy, but more importantly, why. High performing organizations also mitigate the risk of growth set setbacks by organizing the structure and progress and process of a business around the end customer. Product strategies, pricing approaches, marketplaces, and the talents of the organization must all be aligned in lockstep with your customer. By focusing on the right customer segments, the right product or service mix, and the right tactical priority, you can stay on track more effectively. That means new products or services must be conceived and market leading. Innovations must occur while in advance of stated customer demand and changes in customer needs must be swiftly acted upon. All aspects of organization from product from product development to manufacturing to sales must center on the customer. For example, manufacturing operations can create competitive advantage when aligned directly to my customers needs to my customers needs and the markets they serve. By collaborating with customers and suppliers, the supply chain and manufacturing output can be linked directly to the customer's operational business, making the customer tune us on the compass creates greater value, cons customers' loyalty and a heart to the dislodge competitive advantage. A simple assessment must be com completely of the sales organization to ensure that skills set are in alignment and can adapt with changing customer requirement. No matter how great a product may be, if it is misaligned to the market and the skill set of the sales force to sell it, its full, its full potential will never be achieved. Okay. Organizing the business around the customer is a fundamental is a foundational step towards achieving sustained growth by ensuring ensuring that customers are served by the right people selling the right products. In a flat economy, of course, sales are harder to come by. Profitable growth cannot be achieved by simply adding more sales talent or by slashing costs. Sales force effectiveness, therefore, is all the more important. The challenge is recruiting, coaching, and maintaining a sales force that is fully capable of supporting and fulfilling the needs of a business. Pricing for value. When a one cent swing in pricing can change company profits by hundreds of thousands and even millions of dollars the results can be incre incredibly rewarding or utterly devastating yet research has shown that the majority of ceos rarely engage in detailed pricing discussions and most Organizations lack an understanding of the value that the customer ascribes to the products and ultimately what the customer is willing to pay. This leaves a, crit a critical component of revenue generation to a process of guest dimension with little involvement of from 
executive management setting a price that creates advantage of the business and value for the customer's three main component identifying customers perception of product value and other buying preference preferences by market segment essence Assessing all cost components, including identifying hidden costs and forecasting the risks of supplier price changes and establishing and communicating target pricing that creates organizational discipline and accountabilities to maintain profit threshold. In a, const a constraint Slow growth economy businesses, businesses have a tendency to use promotions and incentives as men, means to increase revenue and volume. If the organization can position the product, the product in such a way that the offer presents on unforeseen opportunity for the buyer then price increases or premium positions can be successfully implemented with outstanding gains to both top and bottom line results. The net effect, the customer becomes conditioned to not necessarily buy more, but to purchase only when discounts are offered. Instead, the bold strategy is to recognize that buyers can and will pay a premium above and beyond the value of the product. Business conditions continue at an exceptional rate. Technology, product life cycle, and customer preferences are all moving at a pace that requires speed and agility of execution. Moving too slow can mean market opposition, especially in today's macro economy. A successful program of being of change has been um, goals, has two goals to motivate the organization to rapidly act and to create a process that links organizational. Yet, while <clears throat> many businesses develop strategic plans for market share growth, the reality is that few achieve it. Why? Because there is a breakdown in the process between setting a vision and implementing the actions to achieve it. Success in is success in not only executing the plan but accelerating its implementation requires a shift in thinking, one which recognizes that any good strategy must be treated as a chance initiative. Failure to successfully communicate and implement an organization's vision can lead to a loss of market share. The ultimate result the best and brightest may depart for more innovative organizations. Many change can change. Managing change can be tricky. Can be tricky in any economic environment. It is here that leadership can have its greatest impact. The changes that accompany any strategy require many a firm, making a firm connection from the board to the management to the implementation team and within each group it is essential to identify members who can be tasked with championing the change agenda and creating accountabilities for its successes Defining the high-level business strategy clearly and compelling, and then connecting to to the uh, the one in the bush, associated, associating, sorry, connecting it to the associated 
supporting project tip in the organization sets the stage for communication buy in and ownership organizational speed requires a sound plan accompanied by the recognition that success will only emerge from an engaged organization that is fully aligned and committed to its priorities anybody can be a halfway man but one who rises above this class the one who keeps ever everlastingly pushing j oct them amo quotes thank you for following stay tuned for part two of this lecture